Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about different root structures, including rhizomes, stolons, and tubers. Well, this is kind of interesting. Whether you're thinking about growing a crop or a flower bed or anything like that, or if you're trying to control a weed, it's important to understand what the root system is beneath that plant so you can properly feed it or uh, make sure that it doesn't get the food that it needs. Yeah, I'm much more concerned about the weed control. And the reason why is because with rhizomes and stolons, they're basically runners. In other words, the rhizomes are roots that are running below ground sideways. The stolons are roots that are running above ground sideways. And both rhizomes and stolons can put up new shoots and in effect, new plants which means you could have this whole network of plants that are all connected into one. Well, if I've got that, it's gonna take a tremendous herbicide and a great herbicide rate in order to get that weed under control. Yeah, I think about something like Canada thistle, for example. It has such an extensive system of rhizomes below ground. If you think you're controlling a Canada thistle plant, and there's probably more shoots that are going to pop up five feet or 10 feet out from it that you aren't even noticing yet because they're not out of the ground. So don't just worry about the above ground plant. You got to think about how big that root system is. So if you've got a first year just from seed Canada thistle plant, control it now because once it gets established, those rhizomes are going to be really tough to take out. Other weeds that have rhizomes include field bindweed and Johnson grass. Now, stolons are going to be above the ground, and Darren just said, hey, there's one thing above the ground and looking at below ground. Well, these stolons, they are roots, but they are running above ground, like Bermuda grass, for example. It can reproduce by stolons. Well, if I'm trying to control Bermuda grass, I gotta be thinking about that too, that it takes a big time rate. So generally speaking, we're going with something that's systemic in the plant, like for example, Roundup can kill Bermuda grass, and I gotta have a really good rate because I don't wanna just kill what that plant touches. I've gotta make sure it gets all the way through those stolons that are above ground. Yeah, I think about stolons like a, an iris plant where you have roots above the ground. You don't wanna bury those roots on an iris plant. That's not a good thing. So you think, well, wait a second here. Are stolons kind of the same deal where I've got all these roots on top of the ground? Maybe so. Maybe that's how it works for weed control also. Maybe tillage would be part of your equation. But as you chop up those chunks of roots, sometimes you can see new plants sprouting from that. So a lot of times with these extensive root systems, tillage is not your best bet. Then we get to tubers. What they are is basically a swollen portion of usually the root where it's storing nutrients. That plant is going to store nutrients in it. And so it's kind of interesting. I mean, just all these different features that you may see in your root. Some tubers that I hate to see out of my field, yellow nutshead should probably be my number one. That one gets in some of the lower, wetter areas of our fields. And when it gets established with those big nutlets down below the ground, they're tough to take out. Well, once again, there can be a lot of different types of root systems that you may find in your crop, in your garden, in the weeds that you have. It's important to know what kind of root system you're dealing with, especially when it comes to weed control, because it may change what you use for herbicide and the rate you're going to use. One weed you may be trying to identify on your farm is our Weed of the Week. We'll talk about how to stop it coming up later in the show. <music> 